Hello, hello, hello. Welcome this afternoon to the last live Facebook of Saturday. Not of the weekend, though. You get me again tomorrow, you lucky things. Welcome back to live Facebook number 12. 12. I was hoping there was going to be a voice telling me what number this is. Uh, and this is part of our big brand sale this weekend. They're part of the Craft Alive and the uh, Black Friday special. So on nataliemay.com.au, you will find a... Oh. <laughs> You will find some fantastic specials for Saturday. So Saturday the 26th of November, we have got Vicky Booten, Stencil Girl and Lindy's are going to be 20% off with Natalie May scrapbooking products. Um, almost the entire collection, but not everything at 25% off. So you can find everything on nataliemay.com.au. Let's crack into it. It is the last live of the day and and it's been a day. I'm gonna play with just some layering of color with stencils today. I'm not going to reinvent the wheel. Um, I'm just going to I've just got a whole heap of stencils here, actually, and I really haven't thought much about what I'm going to do other than get some colour on a page. I am working in my Large Dilutions journal, and I am working with Art by Marlene Paints. That's what I have out here in front of me today, and I have got a range of colours. The colour that I've just put down now is called Peony. I have got a few different shades but I'm going to go with and I can't remember what collection these are all from but um, they are I've just grabbed some colors that are appealing to me this afternoon so I may or may not have most of them open this color is called kissy so you can purchase them in a set or you could purchase them as individual colors we do have limited availability of the limit of the um, single colors uh, uh, but they are much better value for money in a set I have not I'm not washing my brush at this point because I forgot to bring my water in thanks Lou champion but that's okay because I'm dry brushing so dry brushing means that I'm not using a whole heap of um, I'm not drowning and watering down the colour with with water. Um, I'm just getting everything off my brush before I add my next colour. So this colour that I'm using here is called Heaven. Um, and it is really, really pretty. Very, very nice blue-grey. Thanks, babe. No problems. <laughs> oh, I didn't ask you, buddy. <laughs> But thanks for your input. Got it. Got it. Get it. Got it. Good. Okay. The next colour I'm adding on is wine. Woohoo. And that, my friend, is not too far away. And you see how I do this lovely little flicking technique? That is to help the blend. So I'm not doing a, you know, adding in lots and lots of um deep blunt strokes they are brushed over the other colors to help that blend go through all the way through and the last color at the moment i'm going to pop on is called police this is a really lovely wee that's a lot navy blue So that's possibly a little bit much more, a little bit more paint than I had anticipated, but let's commit to it. And I'm covering my entire page. And I'm going to continue to layer these colours. Now I've planted down a foundation. I'm going to start layering with a heap of stencils. That works for me. All right, I'm just going to slide 
my journal off to the side here and I'm going to use some blending tools and a stencil. So I'm going to start with Stencil Girl stencils. I have got a range of Stencil Girl stencils here and I can't wait to have a play with these. Some of these I've used, some, some of them I haven't. So Stencil Girl products are currently 20% off for today only. Now I've gone through my stash. I have spent the last half an hour going through my stash trying to find stencils that, um, that I can use that are available online. So fingers crossed I haven't totally messed this up. Let's see what we can come up with. I am going to go in first of all with this lovely blue heaven colour and I'm going to use some blending sponges, blending tool and I'm going to start the day with a clear sponge. So these are one of the Ranger blending tools and this is a stencil, the number of this one for my Link Ninja. If you type in the search, L for Larry 892, and this one will come up. And I am just going to layer some color over my page. How good is my Link Ninja? So if you are looking to purchase any of these products, uh, the products that I am using, um, Naomi or Linda, Naomi is adding them to the comments section and you'll be able to scroll through and find them. All right, so there we're gonna go. I'm just gonna leave that there like that. Now I'm gonna bring in some pink again. So this beautiful peony. And grab myself another tool. And just dab that on completely. Delphine has just commented, it's one o'clock real soon. Yes, correct. It's Saturday afternoon and now that the sun is completely out and there's not a cloud in the sky, after we had thunderstorms earlier, because you know, that's what happens. We're gonna sit out, it's all steamy and humid, but I think uh, Lou and I might find ourselves having a, a quiet afternoon sit down in the backyard with a glass of wine. Okay, so I'm just gonna peel back and have a bit of a look and see what we're doing here. And we're starting to build some layers of colour and that is what I'm chasing here. And I'm putting all sorts of colours over the top, or well, the same colours in different, in different patterns over the top. So building up my layers. Now let's crack into some wine. Colour over colour creates beautiful, lovely layers. I'm going to grab a different stencil now. The one I've got now is called, actually I don't know, but the number is L for Larry 901. And again, it's another stencil girl design. And this is a road map um, near designer Mary Nass's house somewhere. It looks a little bit like Adelaide, actually. You could quite easily say that's the CBD and Anzac Highway, Marion Road. Excellent stencil. I think New York. New York, you reckon? It does look rather. Right, so layering of pattern over layering of pattern. Mm -hmm. 
So Stencil Girl products. So Stencil Stencil Girl are a a company out of the states who I am very very proud to be working with this again this year. Um, Stencil Girl have got stencils in their range that are designed by crafty people like you and I, people who know what you know. They're missing certain things from their crafty stash. They they're missing. I'll turn that this way. They have an eye for knowing, you know, what's missing in the market. And I love that they are all very, very clever hand, hand designed pieces. And they, uh, we try and keep the price of these as low as we possibly can. But as most of you would be finding out, the current state of the American dollar and the combined with escalating shipping costs, not only Australia wide, but also worldwide, um, we try and keep the price as low as we can. We had a la lovely lady come in this week, um, not realizing that you could get stencil girl stencils here in Australia. And she had been ordering direct from stencil girl and it was costing her a three times the price for one for one stencil so i'm absolutely thrilled to be able to offer these to you at an excellent price and grabbing them at the moment like at, at the cost that they are at at 20 percent off is pretty great so you can see what's happening here we're starting to build shadowy dimension i am going to go back in with this stencil i love this pattern going on down here so i'm going to grab that and I'm going to put that up in this corner, up in this corner even. And I'm going to go in with whatever's on my, my sponge. And I like the idea of having a partial, a partial, oh, that's nice. A partial bit of the stencil. Looks quite good. Come down here and I'm going to try and connect it a little. So I love an art journal. An art journal um, will give, is the perfect opportunity to add a little bit of interest to your creating. Um, so Karen's just asked the questions, when will you be getting some new stencil girl in? Um, I'm planning on doing an order in about a week, uh, just waiting to restock after the, after the show. Um, if there is something in particular that you would like, my friend, all you need to do is send me an email and we'll make that magic happen for you, all right? More than happy for that to occur. Okay, lots and lots of layers of colour here and I'm not even adding any more paint at this stage. I might pop a little bit of pale pink. Um, but yes, that's how I, we order stock is you need to send me an email and we will get that to you. More than happy. How does that sound, Miss Karen? Good, okay. I'm liking it, I'm liking it, I'm liking it. I'm now going to do something a little bit bold. Not as bold as something I'm gonna do later. I'm gonna add some big crosses and I'm going to add them with a little bit of gesso. I'm going to lighten I am going to, it's not going to be totally white. It's going to be a shade of, that's way too much. It's going to be a shade of one of the colours here with the shade of this blue. I'm going to take some here. Now this stencil is available as well. And before I lift it up, There we go. So Linda's just saying that someone's been super quick and grabbed a mat. What did you say? The mat? <laughs> I don't think there was any left. Yeah, there's a, there was a couple left there and um, Linda's just said that they have now sold out. But look, the best thing to do is this is how... See what's happening? This is how I order stock. I need you to communicate with me and we will make that magic happen. So a bit of gesso and I'm just toning it back with a baby wipe. And what happens is it pushes the color to the edge of the stencil and creates these really awesome edges. 
So yes, if there is anything in particular that you are wanting from Stencil Girl, um, please send me an email by Thursday and have a look through their website and we can see what we can do for you, okay? We can make the magic happen. Does that make sense? Linda, could you just type my email address into the comments, please, which is nat, N-A-T, M-A-Y, at adam, A-D-A-M, dot com dot A-U. Natmay at adam dot com dot A-U. Um, unfortunately, I do not take orders via Facebook because they get lost in the system um, and I might inadvertently forget about them. So what we try and do is do, we only take e email orders. There we go. Oh, So those subtle crosses are working quite well. Nothing more than that. Now I've created an awesome background. So if you were a card maker, you could quite easily make that a, a nice little card front. You could turn that into a card. If you were a scrapbooker, you can turn this into a scrapbook page. There's so many different things that you can do just by throwing some paint on a page like this and you're layering up your stencils. What's making it also work very well is that, other than my awesomeness, is that the colors that I have chosen, I'm limiting my colors. I'm only using what's out here, okay? I'm not adding in a dozen different colours. I picked my colours and I've stuck to them. And then they are all going to work nicely together. So I've used three stencils there. And the next thing I'm going to do, I was going to use that one, but that's way too busy. I'm going to use the stone statue. And I'm going to cover up a lot of what we are doing here with the stone statue now this is awesome this is really really beautiful um, probably one of my favorite things to do is add something like this to a page um, what's going to happen is i'm going to push a combination of black and navy blue and i'm going to completely cover up all of this now this works really really nicely to give you a bit of an idea where I'm heading with it. Here's one I prepared earlier. So a page that I've created before using this same technique with a different stencil is here somewhere. Can't find it now. Have to be a little bit careful because there's some things in here you can't see. There's some secret squirrel <laughs> projects happening. Here we go. So this is what I'm going for. I am looking at creating this sort of beautiful style silhouette. This is one of the Stencil Girl stencils. They do faces so, so very well. Um, and I'm wanting to do something super bold and put the black over the top so my image is coming through. Are you ready? Hold on to your seats. So I've got pitch, which is that one. I could use black gesso also. Um, I do have my black gesso here, but I don't have enough of it left in the tube. So I'm not going to use that. And I'm going to use the small little Nouveau... Oh. blending tool and I'm going to need some tape to tape this into position no stuff it let's just commit to it all right so when you're doing something bold like this I grabbed my and I still picked up the wrong tool for goodness sakes Natalie just pop that in there pop that in the water Right, I grab it and I just spread it all out all on my sponge. So you can see that my sponge is still white around the edges here. I want to really, really saturate 
my sponge, but I don't want it to be totally dripping wet. We've got a lot of ground to cover here. So I'm making sure that I get good coverage on my sponge. Now I do like to start with my detailed areas first and it's a real pouncing motion like that. Louise, don't laugh at me. Pounce is the word. We are pouncing the color on so that we get a nice area with no bleed, okay? So I do my edges first. Follow the lines of the stencil. And then I can go in and I can do this and finish off this area here. And I'm holding my fingers in here just to make sure that my coverage my stencil doesn't move. Taping it down would have been the smarter option, but you know, live dangerously, we say. Jackie Vinan has been eyeing off this stencil. Well, Jackie Vinan, my advice to you is to go and grab it because I know how many are left on the shelf. I do like that black gesso actually gives a nicer coverage than black paint. Um, I am a little bit concerned here about my blacks not being strong enough. So I am now going into black gesso. read your comments I'm sorry girls because um, you should be able to hear my concentrating to make sure that I don't move this or mess it up but definitely the key to ensure that you don't get any bleed is a nice even distribution of paint on your stencil and this applies to all stencils okay a nice even distribution on your sponge and stencil girl stencils will just respond beautifully Nearly there. Before I lift off, I'm just taking a moment and I'm going to come back in over here. I'm just going to dab out my corners, dab out my edges, and I've got a really amazing image going on here.
Okay. And knowing when to stop is important. Take my sponge off. I don't want to add anything else to it. Drop my sponge on my page. Drop my sponge in the water. Wipe up my black gesso. Lid on and put it away because I am notorious for going back and adding more. I'm just going to hit that with the heat gun because there's another stencil that I'm going to pop over the top. So it's a big, bold image. It is super strong. Um, I'm working in my large Dilusions journal. In fact, this is the Classics journal. This is the journal that has the craft pages as well as the black pages. So I'm working in this journal today. The next stencil I want to use, I have got the idea of putting some sort of script over the top. Not sure how it's going to work. Um, not sure the colours that I want to use. Open to suggestions. Maybe blue. Maybe navy blue. Maybe this lovely police. Or maybe gold. Or silver. Not glitter, don't anyone suggest glitter. Silver. Silver. So yesterday when I tried to un unblock my, There we go. I found the pin that I was looking for when I got home. It was stuck in my t-shirt. Because, you know, that's where you put it. Okay, again. I've got my little Nouveau blotter. And I'm going to... I really don't know if this is going to work. So I'm going to have some black paint handy. And also have some navy blue paint handy. Um, I'm wanting this to be subtle, but incredibly awesome. <laughs> Start with black, add a bit of silver. Let's see what we come up with. And again, I'm dabbing. Less is best. I've committed to it now and I'm going to love it because that's what's happening. Too excited, wasn't it? That on an angle I can't deal with. Um, I do know that it's like a handwritten sort of script situation, but I cannot use this bit here because it just goes against my um, my visual how it works in my head. I'm gonna pop a bit of blue in and I'm creating this nice little shade down here. And again, this one's a really delicate stencil. So the great thing is, is if you pounce your color on nice and evenly, but firmly and confidently, it's going to work. You're gonna get your image. So I didn't want to use this, this um, silver just by itself. I was concerned that it was going to be a little too strong. So that's why I've added the black, mixed in the black with it, to um, just to lighten my fear level a little. And we're starting to see this nice little pattern hang over the top. Nat, is that the vintage script you have? Yes, it is. So 
Sorry, I should have said that earlier, Linda. Need more silver on that for it to show up. And I'm now turning it, I'm using it in a few different ways just to add that little bit of, yes. Okay, so we've got something a little bit more interesting going on now. Okay, and that I love. I think that we've added a bit of interest to it and I'm now going to finish it off with a paintbrush. Maybe. Yeah, I am. No, I'm not. I'm going to finish it off with a black pen. So a black pen, oh, some stamping. I'm going to add some black stamping over the black gesso. Trust me, it's going to work. It's all about the layers. So I'm using the Won't Let You Down stamp, the Natalie May scrapbooking Won't Let You Down stamp, which is nothing more than a strip of words. Um, and it is my favorite go-to stamp. I'm just going to pop my stencil back on. So that I can stamp through this gap here and not get it on the background. I'm just going to add some bold crosses. Now, this one is from a paper artsy stencil. Uh, sorry, a paper artsy stamp that is, I believe, a Seth Apter one, and it's just some bold crosses. Um, I do love me a, a bold stamp like that. Now, I'm not sure, I haven't looked up to see if my stamping is showing up on camera. Yes, it is. So for those of you who are playing along at home, I hope you are having a wonderful afternoon and have been enjoying our live Facebooks today. We will be posting all of your orders out on Monday and Tuesday. If you are local to Adelaide and you would like to collect your order, please do so on Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday. Uh, we will not be open on Saturday. Or if you would like to arrange a courier delivery, please get in contact to ask and we can make that magic happen. Uh, the no judgment postage special is something that we have running and that is where you pay $9.95 to post your first order. And then all orders that you want to do after that, we'll just put them all together for you and then they will come down to, you just add no, put no judgment at the postage um, and go from there. Now, that has toned back my stamping. It is no longer oily. It is still there, it's just not showing up on camera. The last thing I'm going to do is a bit of a Natalie thing and that is be a little bit loopy and scripty sort of words. So I, I like to journal on my pages and I like to um, 
write amazing things. I like to scribble. I'm not phased if you can read it or not. Um, it is not about what it says. It's the process of the journaling. And it's black over black, it's white over white, or silver over, over colour. It's all sorts going on here and it's working for me. I'm just going to bring it up to camera so you can kind of see what I've done. Very, very loose. Exactly what I needed to do this afternoon. And now I'm going to add some incredibly non-inspiring words. What do you think? Someone want to give me some very inspiring, something phrase that I can write in here. What do you think? Any ideas? I'm having a bit of a brain fade. Let's go with Art is not what you see, but what you make others see. I'm going to bring it up to camera. Oh. Whoops. Scribbly, relaxing, enjoyable. Uh, exactly what I needed to do on this gorgeous afternoon here in Adelaide now that the sun's come out. So for those of you who are just tuning in, what we have created here is an art journal page. We have layered up colours in the background using five colours from Art by Marlene. We have got Police, Peony, Kissy, Wine, and heaven so these are colors that don't come in a set together but they are colors that i have chosen um, from my personal collection that i want to make work i then used a ranger blending tool with some stencil girl stencils so we built our background using a map stencil using this gorgeous little number we added in some crosses oh well, they might have been nice no put it down walk away and then we finished off with the stone statue stencil and the what do we call that a script stencil so these are stencil girl stencils and they are available at nataliemay.com.au Today they are 20% off. Okay, so 
snap those up while you can. I've also used, the paintbrush that I used on my background is the Art by Marlene round brush number 20. Here's my go-to brush at the moment. Um, I absolutely love it and I picked that one up and used that one before everything else. So I'm gonna take a quick photograph of this for you and then Louise and I are gonna knock off for the day. But all of our specials stay available for the rest of today. So wherever you are, you can snaffle up 25% um, off of Natalie May products and Vicky Booten, Stencil Girl and Lindy's Gang are 20% off. So grab those while you can. Um, jump online to nataliemay.com.au and make that magic happen. Thanks, guys. It has been an absolute pleasure to hang out with you guys this afternoon. I hope you've all had fun. Uh, and I will upload this to YouTube and uh, look forward to seeing you all tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. for a morning coffee. Uh, there's definitely going to be a filter involved on a Sunday morning. I can tell you that right now. Um, and if you don't know what I'm talking about, oh, treat yourself to this morning's film, uh, live Facebook. That was a treat. Um, and I look forward to chatting with you all soon. See you later.